Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So today's reading is going to be all about who's coming towards you, what's going to be your next romantic interaction. We have five piles from the left to right. The first one is rainbow fluoride. The second pile is Labradorite. The third pile is Sardonyx. The fourth pile is Rose Quartz. And the fifth pile is Rainbow Moonstone. Pause if you need a little bit longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. And I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the Rainbow Fluoride, this is going to be your reading. So I have a few pre-shuffle cards. I'm going to lay that out for you. All right, pile number one. So we have the cards Dragonfly. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm cl here closer. And I'm here to get closer to love. Excuse me. Um, we have Reconciliation, Eyes of the Eagle, Monk, Nun. We have Hierophant, Queen of Swords in Reverse, Four of Wands in Reverse. So... One of the main things that I see over here, this could either be a person from your past, a soulmate. I feel like this could be, for the majority of you, a person from the past who was not ready for commitment. And this person precisely never got their mind off you. Um, they were never able to completely move on this could be a separation pile but i'm just gonna read it how it is okay um the reconciliation definitely makes it very obvious that this could be a person from your past but there's also this energy where i would suspect that this is a person that you've also been um in a past life with i can read it that way also I feel like with uh, I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. I feel like this is um, majorly the person that you are inquiring about that could be from your past because there's so much like the way I'm able to understand this is not um, completely clear, okay? The energy over here is not completely clear. But I feel like, okay, let's begin off by saying that the dragonfly is somehow depicting your energy. So this is air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That could be your, your person, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I feel like you would be in a space of illusions. Like you would try to see through this person, um, person's front, basically, let's put it that way, that you would have a lot of skepticism um and even though you would understand because we have the third eye um you know sort of emoji over here sign over here this person would try to present themselves in front of you and i feel like you would have your own skepticism towards this person like you would have suspicious because you know this person pretty well or you have had a few roundabouts which kind of get you in this place of being a little bit wary of their intentions towards you with the queen of swords in reverse and the four of wands this is somebody who probably ghosted you out of insecurity there's a huge impact over here of insecurity and one of the things that i have to let you know is that this person will come back after an awakening so i'm hearing within four months for everyone who chose this pile whenever you watch it it's timeless but I feel like within four months, especially March and November are very significant over here. So this just gives me the energy that, you know, with the red and white rose, this person 
could have understood your importance through these to these months of separations or years or whatever time has passed by between the both of you i feel like this person would have understood your importance and this person could have met you at a time where they had a lot of prior commitments and that does not mean just a relationship that could be but it just means that this person had loose ends uh, perhaps to tie up before they had um the a full sphere a sort of like a full sphere ability to come and take up another responsibility a commitment requires accountability and taking up of responsibilities because being in a commitment that means like your you know that every action that you take or what you say is directly going to impact the person that you're with so that kind of responsibility comes with a lot of self discipline right you being able to have a healthy relationship as well so I feel like this is a destined soulmate whatever happens this person is meant to come back in your life whatever happens over here is going to be divinely guided with the Taurus energy hierophant we have the queen of swords in reverse which makes me a little bit confused as to maybe somebody went silent or somebody was very aggressive um with the eye of the eagle number 18 and 1331 so you you could be seeing triple 1 or triple 3 there's a significance of that and number 18 as well um with the eye of the eagle i feel like your person and you both have been through dark night of the soul because of something like this person will not come back um myths the awakening this person will come back after the awakening this person will come back after ego sublimation if i have to sum it up this person will only come back after they have understood certain things about themselves and there's i would say um quite a lot of difference in this person like i just keep getting that this is um somebody either if it's new which i would place my probability 50 50 there's a chance that this person is just you know somebody that's meant to come back as a, as a new person uh, you've met we don't met with them you have some past life history and this person would precisely just come back for ascension either ways i have to be very honest with you guys that this person is coming in for the sole purpose of ascension whatever happens over here is something that's you know free will and also a part of fate right but um there's also this sort of thing where i would like to put in that this person would not be completely what you would expect i would like to put that out there like i could be wrong okay because i'm just reading energies and energies transmute all the time but with what i'm seeing over here this could have been someone who left you who didn't have that devotion to themselves so they couldn't contribute that towards you but i would say that with the four of wands in reverse it gives me a dicey energy over here you know when i talk about this reading in like a person coming back and what are their intentions i really like to understand like what are they coming back for or why are they coming in right we kind of i would personally from my opinion you know take it or leave it i would like to know why a person is coming in my life even if it's difficult to know whether you know they're karmic or not karmic is not a bad word right but um it can feel scary so i just want to place that emphasis that this person is an important person in in you know the cosmic play of your life that doesn't take away from it so i would say that whatever happens at the end of the day there's somebody from your past who's going to come back and it doesn't have to be that you know your 100 person going to end up in a relationship unless and until you want that because there's skepticism in this piles energy i would say that there's maybe a uh, 40 person or 20 percent of you that actually want the person that you know is away and you're still wanting to reconcile with that person but for a few of you i feel like you're wanting somebody new and this could just be um putting your swords down when it comes to this person and having a peaceful resolution like you know what let's just go on our own ways so um it could be n number of things i'm just taking my guess because this reading is for the masses but this person would come back from a lot of um 
hardships that that you know i would sum it up in a quote which says pain is the price that we pay for consciousness and with the higher offense this person would have learned quite a few tedious things about their journey and i feel like you would be in the energy of the dragonfly you would be um you would you would have a little bit of insecurity you would have trust issues you would remember the happy moments you would remember the friendship that you had with this person you might want to be friends with this person i think pile number 1 you would have a more cordial take towards this i don't feel there would be hostility or something like that maybe that was in the past but i just don't feel that there would be that thing going on like you would be um kind of like okay with whatever happens i think that you would be in a place where uh, i just get this energy that you would have given yourself closure to this situation whether it means forgiving this person for the past and hoping for a better future with them or if it means forgiving this person for their past um and moving on in your life without them regardless of this situation i feel like within 4 months from the time frame that you watch this reading i would i just feel so strongly that this person will come back they will come back once and for all i didn't want to say that but that's something that came through very strongly in channeling so maybe either you take things forward or this is terminated for good is what i'm hearing from spirit all right so before we conclude this reading i am going to pull out a few channel messages from this person pile number 1 what would this person like to say i care about what people think of us i really do feel like this was somebody who is more fixated upon what people think of the both of you because we have with the monk non negative judgment of the physical world excess pity um you know this person could have not um move forward because of expectations you know i spoke about this um tone of prior commitments that could just mean that they as uh, have promised certain things or they feel liable for fulfilling certain expectations that other people have of them whether be their parents uh whether that is their siblings or their friends or they just they just didn't have or still um you know since we're seeing this energy let's just be hypothetical four months prior this actually happens um they're still in this energy and they're still going through i'm getting a reconciliation with their self like you know when you hear too many opinions from outside it's also a part of self betrayal because you're not listening to what your heart is saying and often times what our soul calls us to do is not something other people can hear right every person that comes through is a key player in our ascension so uh, we have i believe we're meant to be together so this person still believes that you know there's scope for commitment over here perhaps marriage i want to marry you one day thank you spirit so they do think about marrying you because you know they think about things that went wrong in the past and they really want to i'm getting like they want to reconcile and they want to redeem themselves in your eyes like i'm hearing i want to propose you so maybe you were waiting for this person to make this commitment official and they were just not that serious or they were just not realizing the importance i'm hearing um i I did not realize what I had until it was done. I'm I'm tired of crying and hurting over you. So if you think that it was easy for this person to let go of you, uh, and perhaps forgive themselves, I'm hearing from spirit that it's taken a lot for this person to just find courage from within, and kind of just be like. um okay you know what maybe i can get myself a second chance like they really thought about themselves as the bad guy in this situation which might be true which might not be true but there's just this energy of them feeling undeserving of anything more with you 
I don't want to be reminded of you. So I feel like you are you blind this person. Like you you blind this person with your authenticity and your light and it really scares this person. Like it makes them sad. It makes them just it just makes them feel so small is what I feel. And this is the kind of work that this person also needs to do. We have, I don't like when you ignore me. So again, there's this energy where this person is trying to gather the courage so that, you know, they can talk to you or they can just again get to know you. Like they're scared of attachments and they are already attached to you. And again, I started off the reading by saying that, you know, this is somebody who um, has not let go of you. Like, they think about you. And whenever you think of somebody, you're sending energy. So that energetic bond still exists. Um, I think that you pick up on this person thinking about you and you try to sage yourself. For few people, there's this major energy that you don't want this person. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean. You're that unforgettable. Pile number one. Again, I don't desire anyone the way I desire you. Thank you, spirit. So they're just, you know, confirming everything that I'm suspecting over here. That you are that unforgettable for any person that comes around. That they want you. Even though um, they just can't digest the goodness and authenticity presented in front of them. But they're just like, you know, I gotta get this. I'm scared of losing you. So this person, you know, they have hopes of getting married to you. They probably still stalk you quite a lot. I feel like this person will reach out after they have collected themselves from, um, let's just say, the debris of um, awakening or something like that. I just get this energy that this person is quite scattered. Um, I'm getting recuperation. Like they need more time to build themselves up and they know this otherwise they'd just mess things up again i get nervous to call you i don't want you to ignore me yeah that's a mistake over here i think that this person you know uh, there's a double emphasis over here that they don't want to get ignored they're very scared of rejection over here so that's why they're not doing that right now they have a lot of forgiveness to go through self-forgiveness might i emphasize and lastly your presence in my life has turned my world upside down bottom of the deck i'm seeing you always knew how to make me smile so they do cherish your friendship i choose to be with you i just think that this person took like very long um to choose this connection is almost what i'd like to say we're gonna get another deck all right angel guide spirits please help me connect with pile number one's person what is this person desiring to let them know? I'm going to be with you whether they like it or not. There's this subdued energy. Uh, where it's just like I want to be with them. I want to be with them. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But they just freeze. And that's what they need this time for, you know, because this part of their ego, which cares a lot about other people wanting um, to have a charge or a say in their life just because they're scared to um, disappoint people because they want to be accepted. It's just people pleasing, right? And it's not to um, shame on them, but it's just a part where it's a part of life. Everybody goes through that. You know, you and I also have been through that. So they need that time to understand that in this i'm just getting like in this world of narcissism people don't really care what you do they just care about themselves and how other people perceive them so it's just it's just better if you do what you want to do right it's that's what i'm hearing 
I like who I am when I'm with you. So there's this energy of liking themselves around you. Your friendship is good. Uh, your companionship is unparalleled. Um, it's just that uh, you can't compare it with this. This is something this person did not see before. That you know, this relationship, this connection is something important. It's, it's precious. It's special, and they could not recognize that before. What I do to be around you right now, I miss you so much. So they miss you a heck a lot. They still desire you. They still want to be with you um, despite their incapabilities. Um, this is not a bad person. This is a person who's battling with their own demons. And this person misses you a lot. And they're just in this energy of like, I'm the bad guy. I got to protect pile number one for me, from me. The spiritual intensity of our connection scares my logical mind. So there you go. You know, they recognize that this is a past life connection. They just know there's something uncanny between the both of you that, that they just can't, they just can't logically explain having so many emotions towards one person, like how one person can just turn your whole life upside down. I really see myself settling down with you. Like, do you need more confirmation, pile number one, that this person genuinely wants you? Despite whatever decision you make, this person is, like, all in for you. Whether there's a different story, whether they're actually in the capacity to fulfill that duty, but they genuinely want this. You are all that I ever wanted and better than I could have ever asked for. Why this person is simping? Like, this person is simping. I've never been so happy and emotionally fulfilled with someone. So there it goes. You know, I'm here marrying my best friend. All right. So pile number one, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. And I'm gonna see you guys in another one. Bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the Labradorite, this is going to be your reading. So I do have a few pre shuffled cards. I'm gonna lay that out for you. All right, pile number two. So we have true love, firefly. This is the air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. That could be your, your person, sun, moon, rising. We have eye of the needle, number 17. We have empress in reverse. We have the eight of cups in reverse. We have the hangman in reverse. We have Pisces and Taurus energy. We have I honor how I want to feel. We have gambler and we have benevolent guide. So this is quite exciting. Um, and I feel like you would be happy to hear that this is most definitely um, a new person. For a few of you, this could be a past person, but this gives me a new person in the sense a new romantic interest. I feel like this could have been someone that you have had a friendship with or an acquaintance at the least. This is not somebody that you don't know. Um... Uh, there's ambiguity in this pile, but let's just say that this is somebody that you haven't experienced love with. I'm just gonna say it that that way, okay? Say it like that, okay? Excuse me. Um, this this is this is somebody that is, I mean, I'm hearing uh, light up a fire under your ass. Um, uh, this is somebody that's going to give you the sparks. And I feel like it's not going to be exactly the toxic sparks. Okay, this is somebody that you're going to have amazing chemistry with. I just feel that energy. Now, this is going to be somebody that's going to honor how they feel about you. This is somebody who's going to put thought into how they feel towards you. This is somebody who's going to understand that, hey, you know, why do I feel about this person like that? Like, there's got to be something special brewing up over here is what I'm hearing. So this is going to be someone who is um, going to want to take things forward. This is somebody who's going to want to put in the hard work. I think this person might come across as a little bit lethargic or like um, a procrastinator or something like that but they're gonna take their sweet time 
not enough time where it just misses out the opportunity but they're going to be i wouldn't say swift but they're going to be hands-on but they're not going to be impulsive either so this is going to be rather more balanced energy um and you're gonna throw them off balance there's just so much of uh, flirting over here um this this could just be that one of those relationships where suddenly you just start feeling these feelings of love intimacy vulnerability and like um flirty like uh, there's just gonna be so much fun like this is gonna be that relationship that has a has an amazing honeymoon phase in the beginning like you both are just trying to be at your best behavior and all that sort of thing like i'm just getting the image of, of a rom-com like and um i feel like this is going to happen when you are going to start elevating so now um this could just be a present energy yeah like i feel like uh, you've chosen this pile so um i think that the ambiguity slashes out when i just see this as the present energy that this is somebody either you're already talking to or you've got your eyes on or this is somewhere where i'm just giving you the hint like you know you've got somebody somebody's caught your eye or you've caught somebody's eye i would rather say um you have a little bit of idea because this is not a full blown blown relationship this is not experience this is not somebody that you have a history with and history i would like to clarify that again romantic history you don't have romantic history now that could be a number of things this could have been uh, let's say a situation ship this could have been a friends with benefits this could have been somebody that you've hooked up with this could have been somebody that you've just had a flirtatious talk with this could have been a best friend from your past this could have been a good friend from your past this could have been an acquaintance this could have been a high in your dm this could this could be n number of things but this is just somebody that you're suddenly going to start catching like touchy feely feelings and um this is going to feel more like um we have to work on this this is something like it's about chances and fate it's it's going to be a genuine connection between the both of you i feel like this is going to be very intentional if you guys take it forward from both ends and i feel like this is giving me more of a masculine energy whether this is a woman or a man this person is gonna wanna pursue you i feel like if this is a man they would take their sweet time which might give you the indication that they're not interested um but they're not going to be impulsive because they want to honor how they feel as well they're going to want to see you know um all aspects it's just giving me like that is sort of like a meme where you know there's this woman and she has the whole pie chart on her head like she's just trying to do the calculations and i just feel like this is really going to um create a little bit of internal struggle which this person will overcome because there's nothing that i see majorly negative in this energy i feel like you're gonna move out of this energy of like um um putting yourself on the back burner like even though this is going to create a little bit of friction within you like i'm feeling this this person is taking time am i supposed to let it go am i supposed to do whatever but you know ultimately you're just gonna come to this place like let it unfold the way it has to even if you're not there i just feel like i'm talking to a bunch of people that are either going to stumble upon this person or already had some sort of situation brewing up where the person has put a halt on it now i am not saying that if this situation has gone above five months this is your pile because um either you're yet to meet that person because this person is i i would say that this person majorly would take at least a majorly is what i'm saying like they would take two months not more than that and i can understand that might feel like it's a lot of time but there's certain things that this person will also have to walk away from clearing up their act and this person is going to have an awakening because this is the spark that they're going to feel with the hanged man over here with the piscean energy this is what they're going to feel over here and they're going to relate to this as true love for themselves this is going to be something that they have never experienced before now i feel 
feel like it could be mutually shared where you have not experienced healthy mating and i don't mean that in a sexual way just of course but there's just a way where it's like pairing up by the universe like let's just say you know the divine has set up an arranged meeting like things are just gonna fall into place suddenly um at the time when you're walking away from harmful situations you're learning how to love yourself and there's a lot of baggage that you have dropped down i have to say one indication you would know this is your pile is a 100 percent if you have been through something pretty huge like an awakening or some sort of that thing where you are also learning how to honor how you feel so it means whether you have frustration towards this new person not coming forward or you have forgiveness when it comes to past people friends family it's just emotional maturity where you align with this person you're not just gonna bump into them it's gonna be like a timely thing assessed by the universe where you align with this person at last and this person could have been around this person could have been in your circle or just somebody that you have noticed before but the cupid's arrow had not done its work or unleashed by that time it only happens when you start prioritizing yourself and start honoring how you feel in certain situations rather than betraying yourself or covering a wound over your own eyes so I feel like you would be in a place where this person would perceive you to be as very radiant, a queen of cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, are just this energy where you would have moved on from a lot of heart. There would be this glow up, I would rather put it in this way, like you would be more self-assured because the Empress in reverse is lack of self-love and this just says it all. You would have done a lot of work or you already have been and I... I mean to say that it's not a sort of like, um, you know, like a certification that you have reached this level, but you would just know that you've been through so much just recently. And now this person comes in and stirs up like these touchy feelings. So that's what I'm seeing. And there's something about, um, you know, this person would come in and this person would definitely be from your soul tribe because there's a lot of indication of like, you know, true love, intention, intentionality excuse me and uh, 17 adds up to 8 so this would be a very destined meeting we have 8 yet again over here um so again this could be you know something karmic and that's not a bad word it just means it's meant to happen it was meant to unfold this was destined is what i'm saying this connection was destined to meet you at this specific point and you know at this point in your life and their life and i see that as this being a chance where you share a genuine connection with intimacy where you have you both might be light workers this person especially whether you recognize that within yourself or not this person is definitely a healer whether they recognize that or not there's something about this person's hands there's something about the way that you will touch each other just even in a non-sexual manner it's just you will feel something because you would recognize each other's souls right and i'm hearing that you know this true love that you share with this person is gonna go beyond um the 3d bifurcation of genders and norms and designations in life this person could have been a sibling in your past life and i know that sounds really weird it's just that this is something that is very pure that you share on a soul soul level okay so before we conclude i'm gonna pull out a few channeled messages from this person there was such a a confusion that i had in picking up the deck um maybe this person won't reveal a lot because they want to understand how do they feel initially i always knew you were my other half so that did not take a lot of time this person would be completing themselves just like you would be that's why i feel like you would be aligning you're not just gonna bump into them I could never forget about you. So they already have this feeling or they would have this feeling like you're unforgettable to them. Okay, I was thinking of you last night. This person would think about you quite a lot. You know, I spoke about this in the mix of the reading that 
they're gonna want to think and ponder about it they're gonna give a thought like why do i feel this way and how do i feel this way there would be a lot of passion but this person is going to understand that there is a meaning behind this attraction i'm scared of losing you um they wouldn't want to let go of you without having explored this so that's why i think that they are going to become a little bit frozen because they're scared of making the wrong decision is what i'm going to tell you about this person my heart aches for you um they would immediately find you quite irreplaceable because you wouldn't be chasing this person now i want to differentiate that you reciprocating or you showing your interest in this person is not chasing and i feel like pile number two you would understand when you're chasing this person i do feel that we had number eight that means that you know this person is going to create some sort of friction so would you and them and that is the sole purpose of every relationship whether it's long term or it's just karmic and oblique short term right um every connection that we have in our life has a karmic base to it so i'm just hearing that it, maybe you have a stigma towards the word karmic and i would like to offer you the comfort of maybe getting acquainted with the word karmic because it's not as bad as you think it's just a stigma in your head that alarms you that oh my god this is gonna hurt but let's be real every relationship requires a better version of you the more that you grow right and it is also on the opposite end so every relationship has a karmic denotion so um this person might be triggered by their abandonment wounds when they meet you and they're gonna feel a sense of yearning for you like they're gonna start missing you they would want to be around you because there's some sort of lesson that you're going to be teaching each other or just a part of learning self-love and completing yourself is what i'm feeling over here and so would you so um i i just feel like this is going to whatever outcome of it is because i don't see this as being karmic something painful i see this as two people who have probably had a difficult past and i'm also hearing a childhood that grow into making each other feel secured in a relationship again i'm just reading the energy i could be wrong i could be right but at the end of the day it depends upon what the universe has in store for you and what you choose to take uh, you you choose to be a participant of right so realistically speaking there will be a little bit of friction i don't see this being a full blown like you know fights and cats and dogs you might hold back because you don't want to project please don't move on all right so this person wouldn't want you to move on that's what i'm saying they wouldn't want to lose you they're scared of making the wrong decision because you're brewing up or you would be brewing up such feelings of insecurity within them also an attachment to their lifestyle i told you they would have to take some time to clean up their act and they don't want you to move on but they also don't want it's just gonna be a tug of war in the beginning and with the gambler i feel like you know this would be an energy which says willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you i just feel like this person would have to really rely upon their spirituality you're gonna push them back into their cocoon they're going to be doing their daily things or they're not going to be doing that who knows but they're just going to be thinking a lot about why do you make them feel the way you do it's bittersweet right i'm shutting you out damn so this person would try to maybe run away at first or just not feel safe enough to have that vulnerability with you and let you know that you know hey i'm feeling some kind of way bittersweet it's dualistic i don't understand i am feeling addicted to you i'm yawning for you but it's also giving me pain it doesn't feel right being apart from you so how many i mean this person is um i get a respectful simping if that makes sense like i just get this energy that they're gonna wanna have you around and they're their impulse would be the reflex let's just say would be to push you away because you're making them feel inadequate do you see how there's just the empress left over here i just feel like your person would just feel like they're not good enough and that's the reason they're gonna want to shut you out and i feel like you're gonna have to heal through your wounds of abandonment which 
enable you to chase another person so this is the friction that i see there will be purging you know there's always purging involved in healing but i don't see this being toxic i just see this as being a person or another soulmate of yours just playing their part in your life even though we're not together i just can't see myself letting you go are you again this is that energy that you know i haven't had that much history or memories with this person and you might have good memories whatever your designation is but it's just like how can i suddenly just get so many romantic feelings and that's the reason why you become unforgettable and special in this person's eyes like they start seeing you as this beam of light within their life which is just like wow like i am mesmerized i could look at you all day long but why do i feel bad about myself right i get nervous to call you i don't want you to ignore me i want to make things right so i just feel pile number two this person is not gonna want to let you go but they're, they're gonna face a little bit of internal struggle before they make their moves on you all right so pile number two i'm gonna leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number three if you chose the sardonyx this is going to be your reading so i do have a few pre-shuffle cards i'm gonna lay that out for you all right pile number three we have hyena we have netcaster we have pay attention to the red flags my vibes speak louder than my words networker the tower the sun and the ten of swords in reverse and we have the new pearl so i feel like when we talk about the new pearl this could have been someone that you were waiting for um a specific energies on a twin flame or a soulmate is what i feel is coming towards you I feel like this is going to be someone who is very destined, like a fated meeting, somebody that you already knew this about. I don't think that this is a new connection. And uh, for a few of you, this if it's a new connection, it's definitely your soulmate or your twin flame. Um, I think that this connection would be from a past life. I really feel that energy um it's a past life connection if you haven't already met this soulmate for majority of you i feel like this is somebody that is from the past but a past life not exactly a past person that's what they give me more emphasis upon um and i think that this person at first is going to depict a sort of like um, this person is going to trigger all those parts within you that are still unhealed from your father figure or your mother figure, especially a special emphasis on the father figure. I feel like this could have been a manifestation coming alive. Like this could have been a soulmate that you have been manifesting for a long time. Some of you have actually done meditations for calling in your twin flame. Um and i feel like my wives speak louder than my words it's just giving me this energy that this person is going to create skepticism within you because your energy is being depicted by the hyena which is the fire sign aries leo sagittarius this could be your, your person sun moon rising venus um i'm also getting a uh, leo and mars mars and leo or something something mars and leo this person would look they would just give you like signs of not being compatible at first and the both of you would really try to run away from this connection is what i'm feeling the both of you would really try to um you would be in a depressive state um you could you could have mutuals between each other um a surprise like i'm getting a, a, a an unexpected turn unexpected yet expected like there's just whoever this is either it's a past person or it's a person from your past life i 
I get a more like I'm trying to ask spirit is this a past person or a past life connection they're just giving me like for the majority of you this person is from your past life this is not somebody that you've had history with like let's just say there's eons of history between the both of you from different lifetime lifetimes excuse me but i i don't see this as something wow this must be a really deep connection because i'm like scratching my head right now and i'm literally doing that because it's tickling my brain like this connection is really going to make you think it's going to make you think um, this person is going to find you in a place of depravity. That might be your energy or that might not be. They're giving me more emphasis that when you meet this person and it's not very quick. It almost like gives me that, you know, the people who chose pile number three, this is just um, fated for you to click on this reading. Pick number pile three because you had a very guided message that your ancestors wanted you to know that there will be this person in your future coming in and you might not be in your best shape at that point. That doesn't have to be anything to be ashamed of. It just means that this person is going to come in as an accelerator in your life okay this is something by destined. Everybody has their highs and lows right. This person is most um majorly uh, probably going to interact with you when you're at a low and they might be at a high yeah there's a strong emphasis on that because i see this yin and yang energy um this person is going to open you up this person is going to introduce you to healthier love and this person is going to help you enhance your psychic gifts through the ego sublimation that this relationship or this connection i'd rather say is going to um produce within you is going to enable you to understand your own psychic gifts with a networker you're going to be uh, having a lot of astral communication a lot of downloads a lot of, this is going to be a spiritual revelation in your life like this person is purely for the purpose of creating like you know a spark like a spark within you in your life to accelerate your spiritual growth i would say that um number 42 reduces to six which is a lot about balance again this is underneath the hyena because that's just how spirit plays the cards preparations come to fruition a lot of things that you were stuck in a lot of limiting beliefs and you know how uh, there's just this background of limiting beliefs where it's like your inner child feels like its inability or it comprehends its inability to be a functional human being or an adult to pursue the things that the adult person persona wants to pursue um i made that a uh, tongue twister but i i just feel like this person would definitely trigger a lot of um childhood wounds um and this person's purpose over here would be to generate that spark within you ascension let's just keep it at that they're they're gonna be there to create that spark within you and the romance will be there the honeymoon phase everything you know the chemistry it's it's gonna be amazing i feel like everything's gonna be there but that's not gonna be the purpose of that connection now however that situation pans out whatever universe has in store for you um whether that relationship is a long-term connection or something that you settle down with or don't that's completely up to your you know designated life purpose but one thing i can tell you that the universe is i'm hearing from spirit like a strong affirmation that you are meant to hear this message that there's going to be a person who's going to shake up your life and that is going to be for your ascension it's not that this pop person is purposely going to do certain things there might be tones of red flags between the both of you but they're going to help you take out these swords from your back they're going to help you unleash yourself you might suffer with a betrayal wound with these swords you suffered with uh, you've suffered with you've suffered through narcissistic abuse excuse me and this person is going to teach you how to untangle yourself the sun in the reverse can also indicate narcissistic abuse with the tower in reverse it's almost like your people pleasing tendencies or your ability not to ruffle the feathers just because you're you're um, scared of other people lashing out at you because you're not happy is what this person is going to teach you 
that trust the vibes, not a facade that the other person is putting on your face, is what I'm gonna say. All right, so we're gonna get a few channel messages before we conclude this reading. Yeah, this person is really gonna teach you a thing about life. And I, I don't mean to say this in a way where this person is going to be against you. It just means that it's it's going to be um, a situation, a very huge learning experience for you in the future. They're not giving me a timeline. This feels like something that's going to be um, within 11 to 12 months, like approximately a year. There's something that they're focusing upon, whether you're in a connection right now or not. There's somebody in the future that you're going to align with. I stay silent because I don't feel like I'm ready. I'm working on healing. That's what I'm saying. These are going to be particularly the red flags that you both are going to imitate towards each other. Um, now again, they're reminding me that if this is a person you've already interacted with, which seems unlikely, you know, this person tends to ghost or they tend to become, they, they shut down. Lack for a better word, they tend to shut down when they don't know what to do or what to say. Um, they also have self-awareness to an extent where they can understand their own drawbacks. We have let me pursue you, let me give you the life of your dreams. So this could be someone who would want to develop or this pursue this connection with you this person um i feel like this person at first might not feel like because there's this capacity of limiting beliefs prevalent over here i feel like this person might be scared in the beginning to actually think of something for themselves something that's so um what's the word irrevocable um, to even desire something like that is going to scare them but it's going to be at the back of their head the spiritual intensity of the connection scares my logical mind with the tower scorpionic energy we have leo again sun so that's where i was picking up the leo um i just feel like this person is going to get shook as much as you are going to because the magnetism is going to be like off charts um there's going to be love there's going to be passion there's going to be aggression there's going to be all emotions pile number three um I'm currently unsure about how to make this better. So with the pearl over here, I feel like there's going to be a lot of like dilly dallying over here. Like there's going to be confusion because the both of you are going to be dealing with uh, deeper uh, fears. What else do we have? I, I don't want anyone to look at you the way I do. So uh, this person would know the, the X factor within you. They would recognize that and they wouldn't want you to look at other people the way you you look at them or you would be looking at them they would be a little bit possessive and insecure i do feel that this connection is going to go through its highs and lows just like every other relationship um no matter what role that person plays in your life goes through relationships have up and downs so i know i have met my match so this person I think that they and you both would have been so battered down by life like um, you wouldn't know exactly how to believe that you have finally stumbled upon somebody that reaches your level of perhaps authenticity or a confidence or self-expression and this is also going to be you know i'm saying that there's duality there's yin and yang where you're lacking this person is better at and where they're lacking you're better at so this is going to be that completion when i think of sharing your love with anyone else it hurts my heart so i just feel this energy where this person is going to have a little bit of insecurities when it comes to losing you and that's why i feel this energy like them thinking that they want this for lifelong and that sort of commitment would scare them because they would still deal with uh, feelings of unworthiness when it comes to love and longevity in relationships i was conditioned to have unhealthy notions of what relationships must be sun in reverse again you both in childhood could have been through um 
narcissistic abuse and a lot of manipulative communication barriers so that is also what you're going to teach each other is how to break through that and not be attracted to that toxicity or feel like that's what you deserve i've never been so happy and emotionally fulfilled with someone i do get tones of struggle over here because you both might tend to sort of like trauma bond because of your childhood but that's also something you're going to learn they basically this spiral screams self-awareness this is going to be your mirror you are so different i'm very curious about you i've been trying to find a balance between my logical mind and intuitive knowingness the both of you are going to understand how to balance your physical world and also understand how to lead life with your own hearts so i'm just going to take a few messages from another deck file number three i want to regain your trust so again i think that this is coming underneath the red flag card i feel like this person is going to sense your skepticism to opening up to them because of your past and i feel like this person is going to help you because you're both gonna develop a better friendship i forgive you so you're going to teach each other a lot about forgiveness through the highs and lows i i feel like this is going to be something that is going to be difficult in terms of communication because it's really going to help the both of you heal your communication barriers maybe one person shuts down or maybe one person doesn't know exactly what they want to say so don't be so insecure so the both of you are going to help each other in these areas and i feel like this is their energy they're going to be projecting onto you as well and that's what they're going to learn from this as well i've told my friends about you so there's going to be a lot of like chatter about it like you both are going to have these jitters um and i've been dreaming of you a lot of uh, spiritual astral communication like there is a very deep there's a very deep connection waiting for you pile number three bottom of the deck i'm tired of crying and hurting over you and i talk to you a lot in my head wow there will be telepathy i feel assured this is a very high level soulmate or a twin flame i feel like somebody over here has been manifesting their twin flame all right so pile number three this was your reading i'm gonna leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number four if you chose the rose quartz this is going to be your reading so i do have a few pre-shuffle cards we're going to lay that out for you all right pile number four so we have breath in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love house which is the earth sign so this is a taurus can uh taurus capricorn Virgo. i just said cancer so that might be applicable here as well we have the eight of swords in reverse calling in your soulmate joyful muse 33 which is a mirroring number inspiration we have rebel we have uh, seven of cups in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse so let's begin off with your energy I hear from spirit that this is somebody that's going to come in the future this is not somebody that's around you as of now or this connection is not fully mature or like yoked i would say yeah it's taking time um it's taking time because there's certain things that need to be done before this person can come in your life you can align the both of you can align together but one thing i can say is that this person just like you is yearning for the person that they've been looking for so um there is this energy over here where it's almost like nobody out of all my options really satisfies me satiates me there's this hunger for emotional companionship mental stimulation um you're not really getting along with the people that you already know you're not satisfied or you're unamused by the options that you have and this is mirrored okay this is very mirrored within that person as well with the ace of cups this person is also someone who's struggling with loving themselves at this point that yearning that the both of you are sharing i feel like you've met in the astral realm you are sort of like you know 
bringing each other close the higher selves of each other is sort of bringing each other close i i stumbled upon something there's just this energy where the both of your higher selves are conspiring to make the both of you meet in the 3d world okay um i also get this energy that this says your prayers affirmations and visualizations help you bring together so this is again that energy that i said thank you spirit so your higher self are com conspiring to bring the both of you together i feel like why i said that mental stimulation is very important over here because we have right-minded thinking as well over here so they're just confirming that you're looking for somebody that's on your um intellectual level as well you're really looking for that is what i'm feeling pile number four like you have this yearning from inside for somebody to complete you but also there's a parallel want or a need for human connection which is completely okay okay so there's a paradox over here where it's like you are yearning for somebody to complete you but there's also the right that you have to have a fruitful emotional connection somebody that is compatible to you am i making sense like there's the paradox over here but most likely i feel like this person is going to be coming in your life to um bring this energy of newness inspiration a new love i feel like this person could be someone from your past that you have um maybe not ever hit things off with like romantically this could have been a hookup this could have been just there's some sort of like spark that you felt back then which was not explored um in the moment or in in the future or let's just say because we're in the present it was not explored in the past it was never explored altogether there's so much like um there's so much communication there's so much like quick sp sporadic communication i feel like you both will be very intellectual you both could be air science or water science cancer pisces scorpio that's why i said cancer it will be a lot of like heartfelt communication is what i feel over here um and i feel like with the breath over here this person is going to be like a best friend like a life force for you somebody who's going to bring that joy in your life this is going to this is going to be somebody that along with you as much as you would have worked they're going to pour into your cup rather than take you're you're going to have a good give and receive especially when it comes to giving this person is also a giver um they're not going to be taking or depleting you out from it and i feel like one thing that i do want to point out is that you're going to be in this energy of like being a little picky like i i want to find somebody that goes along with me this person is going to be very attracted to your sass like um what are you bringing into my life and i feel like this would be a defense mechanism because you would be interested in them but you would be wanting to see like how much are you willing to give to me because when i do i just keep giving um uh you also might be in a phase of celibacy like you would have a lot of like steam to blow off let's just put it that way and you would be very attracted to this person yeah i think that this person would see that within you like not that you need to blow off steam but they're going to see that you're playing hard to get or you are hard to get i think that they would understand this as you're playing hard to get or there's just this level of standard with you like um they would kind of comprehend it as them having to up level themselves with the eight of swords in reverse this is that energy where it's like um they're going to have this interaction with you um and they're going to feel like oh my god like um this is exactly what i want and i have to work on myself because compared to this mouse person pile number 4 uh, none of my options really satisfy me anymore like all my options are so immature they're so needy uh, they don't have self respect they keep chasing me this could have been someone that was quite uh, polyamorous i would rather say um non committal and that's what they're going to have to walk through that's what they're going to have to walk through is that their inability to perhaps see themselves in a monogamous connection this person is going to take some time i'm getting 3 weeks like when you meet them they're going to take some time to understand themselves they're going to go through an internal struggle they're giving me a heavy emphasis on internal struggle like this person is going to feel like you have magical abilities maybe you would be into like um witchcraft or psychic abilities this person is going to be attracted to that i don't think they're going to be particularly scared of it 
um but uh i would place my bets that this person is actually going to like that about you um they're going to find it new they're going to want to explore it as well i feel like this person is also um not going to realize how deeply they have grown fond of you until like a shocker like until maybe uh, they see you with someone like there's going to be a shocker i don't feel like it's going to be like toxic toxic shocker or maybe when you pull away from this person or perhaps i feel like it's going to be more where they're going to become jealous that they're going to lose you to someone else and that's going to put them in this tug of war within themselves like i can't pinpoint they're just going to see you as someone who's not actually playing hard to get but is actually reserved and they're going to understand that every person has self self preservative you know tactics i feel like they're going to understand that and i think that you're going to make it known to them that you're just doing this to protect yourself you don't want to be taken advantage of and i think that they're going to understand that you're not actually playing hard to get you're just really protecting yourself and they're going to recognize that you're doing things that are good for yourself and they're not exactly in this place to uh provide justice to you in that situation like um this person could also have a lot of peer pressure like there's just this sense of like being attached to an image or a lifestyle it's just i think non monogamous energy and i think that they could have wanted to be with a person like you for a while like they would have been um maybe making these sort of like questions to the universe or like affirmations like um you know when am i going to find my match and when i'm going to find my match i'm going to just um miraculously become monogamous or favoritism towards monogamous or something like that but i think that this person is going to realize that you know oh i stumbled upon the person that i find completely worthy of my time and energy and i feel like they're more deserving than what i am right now so they're going to have to untangle themselves they're going to have an awakening or an epiphany moment i would i would say that it's a small awakening because awakenings tend to happen a lot of them happen throughout our lifetimes and they're just uh different word for ego sublimation so this person is going to have to detach themselves from the identity they've been so fond of there's just this favoritism like they relate themselves or their self worth or their identity relies upon the way other people perceive them or there's just this i wouldn't i really wouldn't Uh, emphasize on imposter syndrome but there's just this energy of not knowing completely who you are and you go towards what actually gives you advantage or favoritism so i feel like with the light attributes challenges authority to affect social change it's almost giving me that this person understands that you know they have inner needs now um uh, all these flings and perhaps all these non monogamous behaviors are not going to help them anymore or you kind of have ruined those um you would have ruined those uh, uh you you could have ruined their comfort zone is what i'm going to say by the way you just love yourself with the self love over here and i feel like they're not going to like have hatred towards you or something like they're going to they're not going to have um like any sort of negativity towards you but they're going to be in despair because of like how amazing you're going to be and i'm i'm not trying to flatter you but that's just what i'm seeing over here they're really going to come across a high quality person and they're going to be like oh my god i am the person who has red flags because previously they have been so harsh towards judging other people and they actually boost themselves by keeping around people that um don't really um Uh, they're not their level and they actually boost themselves so they feel like the bigger person around small people and when then the person who's on their level or a little higher on their level their vibration frequency i feel like they would be on your frequency they're going to have to work on themselves and i feel like they're going to want to work on themselves because you're going to be that muse you're going to become um it's almost like this person could have been living a life for a few years or a few months and they could have grown uh complacent that's the right word thank you spirit so they would have grown complacent in that area in their life and now spirits like it's time to switch things up and so are you wanting somebody to switch things up in your life and this person would have the right amount of fun um so to call you out of your stoicism and the self preservative energy of the mouse like you would be very detail oriented i think that pile number uh four there would be an acknowledgement over here required that you might be looking for red flags when they're not in this person and i'm not saying that doubt your own intuition when it comes to this person because 
this i have to be honest seems like a little bit of a slippery slope it's like a do or die situation whether this person works on themselves or not it's just that and i'm i am anticipating that this kind of person is going to interact with you of course every person comes in our life for a reason everything happens for a reason and that's definitely why you're calling in specifically this kind of an archetype into your life and they're calling in you so you both are going to create friction between each other to grow more right um but there is going to be some likeness some fondness over here some recognition like familiarity over here something that's out of their comfort zone but also provides them comfort over here with you so before we conclude i am going to pull out a few channel messages pile number four angel guide spirits what would this person like to tell them I know you won't feel the same so this is what I'm talking about you might be holding back so much um, preser preservation I feel like this person might come across as very passionate at first and you're just gonna be like mm -mm, no because there's this energy of self-preservation and I feel like there could be hints of overprotectiveness but I don't feel like you're doing this for the wrong reasons you would have understood yourself by that and you understand that you're not giving away your body that freely to just anybody you're not giving that access to your energy basically because you worked hard to sort of purify yourself is what I'm just getting over here. And I think that you're going to understand that this is a fated meeting. So is this person. And they're going to doubt their ability to actually satisfy you is what I'm feeling. So that's why I feel like they're going to project onto you being like, oh, they probably don't like me as much as I like them because I'm willing to probably or at least I'm thinking about changing my whole life around. And probably they don't care about me as much. Like they look good to go. They might have other options, you know, they might have people chasing them around. So there's. I feel definitely this person is just going to project that, you know, they have options around. They're probably going to pick somebody else. I'm starting to understand our connection. Calling in your soulmate. I feel like this person is going to understand that this is the person that they have been looking for, like a match. I keep hearing like a match. The same yawning that we began off in the beginning with, like you would be, you'd be asking for a person, they'd be asking for a person, and then they finally find it and they're just like, whoa, okay. To keep this person, I have to do work. I don't like when you ignore me. You're, you're, I feel by number four, this person won't be able to tolerate your nonchalant behavior. Like, okay, you want me, I'm here, I'm reciprocating. Okay, you don't want me, I'm going to work on myself and move on from this situation. They're, they're going to find it so weird to understand that how are you just so okay with losing them? Like people are so used to chasing them is what I almost feel. I stalk you. So with the Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like this awakening, something you're going to trigger within them when you're just going to be like, you know what, I'm not taking breadcrumbs. Like, I want the full deal. And this person is going to become a little obsessive with you. Like, they're going to not, they're not going to be able to take their mind off you. I just feel like this is going to be a little bit of mind games. I have to be very real. But I don't think it's completely directed towards it. I'm, I'm hearing fun and games from Spirit, but it might... I think that what this is going to teach you is that if somebody is taking too long to decide whether they want you or not, it's better if you just choose yourself and move along, is, is what I'm hearing. So that's why I feel like it's fated. You know, I'm just reading energy. I could be wrong. This person might turn up the way you want them to, but I just feel like I have to be realistic. You know, it's all about destiny and also free will when it comes down to changing yourself and growing along the way. So i'm so embarrassed of my connections thank you spirit so uh they're gonna see that you know they have an opportunity and they're gonna get embarrassed over their mature ways because they're gonna try to lure you in with the same tactics that that have worked on other people so i i mean let's just be real when certain things work on a masses you think that it's gonna work on this other person and until they test you i think that that's when they're gonna face a backlash at you because then i'm like oh my god like i should have known better but you don't know any better unless and until you know better right so we have i need security so this person is going to feel insecure about all the reasons i just stated above they're gonna feel unworthy of you 
I want you here next to me. So they're gonna wanna be close to you physically, especially, and I believe we're meant to be together. They're gonna read the story as somewhere where maybe how your history has been or maybe how you meet. It's gonna be very destined, very magical is what I keep hearing. And they're gonna read it as uh, fate or something that's completely meant to be, where I just see it as a game of free will over here. I have to be very honest. I see why everything happened the way it did. Thank you, Spirit. So they can farm it. It doesn't feel right being apart from you. So they're going to miss you a lot is what I'm hearing. I want to uh, check in with this person's energy. What's the... What's most likely to happen over here? This is quite funny because I haven't done this in any other piles. The Eight of Swords yet again. Piscean Energy. Eighth House. I pick up Eighth House. Queen of Pentacles. Grounding and Comfort Zone kills you is what I'm hearing. Comfort Zone. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person is going to let you know how they feel about you. And how they feel about you is that you're a perfect homemaker. Like It's not like they want you to stop doing everything that you're doing in your life. And just become, you know, their... I, I'm just saying that they won't have mommy issues. They're going to see you as a replication of their mother. If you're a woman. And if you're a man, they're going to see you as the perfect person with a balance of femininity and masculinity. And this person is going to walk through their self-sabotaging behaviors. Can we have a clarifier for the ace, Eight of Swords? What's most likely to happen over here? Take the this to us. I just ate my words. Five of swords in reverse. Um, they're gonna have to untangle themselves from the things that they've done in uh, done in the past, which is the most likely outcome for the majority of you. Ace of swords. Again, they're gonna have to learn how to keep their libido aside, and um, they're also gonna see the other way. I interpret this is as they're gonna see a spark between the both of you. They're gonna see an opening, a window over here, which they're gonna wanna open that door to. And I have the Ten of Wands. I'm going to take this in reverse. And lastly, I'm going to take this card upright. Uh, yeah, they're going to heal. They're going to want to heal. They're going to want to heal is why I'm saying. They're going to want to heal um, through their insecurities and want to take this opportunity because they don't want to miss out on you. We have the Two of Cups. Thank you, spirit and the judgment. They're going to realize that this is a love of a lifetime. They really care about you. And the, I spoke about that moment in between where they're going to be like, oh my God, you know, I really can't miss out on this person. So pile number four, this was your reading. I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye. Hello pile number five. If you chose the rainbow moonstone, this is going to be a reading. So I do have a few pre-shuffled cards. I'm gonna lay that out for you. All right, pile number five. So we have Don Juan, Horn Cactus, Death in Reverse, Scorpio, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups. We have Sun, we have Frog, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Happiness is my birthright and this could be the one. So I feel like this person, now I'm not going to place my bets saying this would be the one because I'm just reading energies and um, a part of a lot of people that we interact come through or align with cross by in our lives are acts of destiny, right? The place of universe. But I do feel that when you're going to meet this person, this person is especially going to feel like you could be the one and they're going to assume that uh, you're going to make them very happy now one thing i really do feel like telling you about this person is that this person could come across as very charming this person could have taken a a, a very um, passionate approach towards you which would um i think push you away or turn you off 
I think that this could have been a situation chip. For the most of you, I feel like this person could have been a friends with benefits situation with you and this person could have thought that, you know, this is just going to be like a la 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 la, like we're just having fun and whoops, I caught feelings and big time feelings. But one of the drawbacks that I see over here with this person when you're going to meet them is going to be that they're going to be emotionally unavailable. Um, they wouldn't know exactly what to do because they would know that they have to go through some sort of ending in their life when it comes to maybe their own lifestyle, maybe it comes to a person that they have been. I really do feel that when you have the Don Juan card over here, this is a lot about somebody who's into maybe um, polyamorous relationships, like they're okay with loose-ended relationships. They don't like to get into the depths of situations. So I feel like your energy would have been a lot like a watery energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's so much water over here. We have all cups and then the death is also Scorpionic energy. So this would be something that would be like getting the both of you in their fields. Um, you and this person, both of you would be very affected by this situation or this interaction or this spark that the both of you would feel. And I feel like initially it would just be red or misread, I'd rather say as... Um, physical chemistry between the both of you but I do feel like saying that this would be a soulmate of yours on a um, on a soulful level this is somebody that's from your soul tribe that's why you feel this spark there's this also this energy of um, you know like when we feel that immediate spark or current with another person which is like a very undying chemistry it's because also a primal instinct is activated that this is somebody that matches our dna or our soul attributes where we can mate and reproduce with them that's kind of the way the body also works so I see that over here that this person is going to find you quite resourceful, but they're also going to understand their shadow attributes having met you. Um, they're going to understand the power of romantic attraction as well. They're going to understand the power of chemistry, whereas I think that this person is going to give in to the temptation of sexual indulgence over here. I think that this person is relatively going to try to run away and also... Um, use other connections to forget you and i'm sorry if that's hurtful because they could feel immense amount of um attraction towards you immense, um, immense amount of excuse me happiness with you which is going to make them a little bit disarmed like their defenses are going to go down i feel like they're going to see you as someone that's quite pure you're you're going to be like the sun and i think that this connection is going to bring a lot of self-awareness a lot of security as well you're gonna feel safe with each other um you're gonna feel like a new spark with each other whether this is a past connection that's been explored for majority of you i feel like this is somebody that you have explored things with maybe not to the full extent you see the potential with the horn cactus over here i see that as adaptability i feel like um you know, this connection is going to bring this sort of vitality between the both of you, like a sense of security because you feel so safe with this person and you're going to start, the both of you, especially this person is going to start daydreaming about what it would be to live a life with you and make this official or take this to a concrete level of commitment. I feel like it's going to contradict with who they have been, but they're going to, they, they, this person is not incapable of being that person okay, it just really depends at the end of the day if that person really wants you, they're going to do that and that's that, right? So uh, this person is going to see you as a source of their happiness. They're going to see you as somebody that's like becoming like a necessity. And I feel like that's going to be a few of the shadow attributes that are going to they're, they're gonna make this person want to have you in their life in different ways when they're trying to weasel their way in and out without having to completely change themselves. They're going to have this tug of war with you. I have to be a little honest, okay? It's just because they're going to want to have their cake and eat it too, is what I'm hearing. And, um, you know, this could be one says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they're going to see that, you know, sort of reflection within you, which is like of confidence. This person could also be quite charming and confident, but you're going to be the one that's going to intimidate them a little bit is what I'm feeling. You're going to be the one that's going to make them feel a little bit jittery, like butterflies in my stomach. And I think that this relationship is going to have a little bit of karmic undertone now 
I want you to be open minded when somebody says karmic because all relationships in your life whether it be with your parents your siblings your friends your ex boyfriends your uh, future partner all relationships have karmic undertones because they're meant to help us grow right so i feel like this person is going to see that sort of adaptability requirement over here and they're go also going to see that sort of like um that sort of flexibility within you i feel like they're going to see that within you as well and they're going to understand that they would want to put a step forward is what i'm seeing this is going to take relatively time to unfold okay you have to be open with this person and again at the end of the day it's your free will whether you want to stick around or you want to go for somebody that's completely ready to be in a commitment this is not going to be a completely ready person um and i don't mean to affirm the fact that you know um people come like ready manufactured products but it just depends whether you find them worthy of sticking around and waiting for them to mature or not right so that's what i'm seeing over here i feel like uh for few of you i think that you're going to move on from this person because they're going to be too emotionally unavailable for you um but i think that this person regardless of you is going to have a very big impact having met you or just that interaction that's going to be soulfully purpose soulfully meant for this person to grow through that with the rainbow moonstone i do get this energy that you know this is going to be a lot about their intuition telling them what they need to do with the sun also it's a lot about that clarity that they're going to get about this situation i feel like this person and has had a very toxic relationships that sort of like tailor made them into this person who refuses to um you know i think that this person has a lot of loop loopholes like a way of finding loopholes in relationships they don't want to let go of attachments they have soul ties to other people um i would say that this person would try to improve themselves whether you are in their life or not this interaction is going to be very life changing for them and that's why they're going to place that emphasis i just i just feel like you're going to be that sort of game changer for them where they're going to realize that they want this person in their life so that's why it's going to give them that epiphany in their life like okay you know what i think i should be done with this phase of my life now whether that comes through with you or not whether that pans out with you or not we can't really say that right um but when this person comes in your life i feel like this is soon this is like one or two months you're attracting somebody um and i have to be honest you're attracting somebody emotionally unavailable because maybe you are also emotionally unavailable so there might be a little bit for you to peep into that a little bit and understand like take a little bit of accountability for what you're attracting as well right now but i feel like with resourcefulness um this is going to be somebody that is going to want to honor their commitment so they're not going to sort of like hand you over a relationship just because you know they want to keep you around um i think that they've done that in the past or they just don't like that sort of entanglement they don't like that sort of um false hopes to be uh, flown around here and there i just feel like they like to keep at least they like to keep their life a little bit sorted out so that's why they're not going to want to do that but they're still i just get this emphasis that they're not going to want to let you go um they might you know i think that this person unintentionally but intentionally their shadow attribute is going to take over them so much that they're going to use tactics just to keep you around because they would be attached to you they wouldn't see their personal strength at that moment they would i feel like there's this bifurcation that i need to explain that this person would really want a relationship but they wouldn't find or they would face difficulty in enabling that self love from within to end certain situations because i feel like this is somebody who keeps open relationships around like friends with benefits or a hook up situation like they have a lot of people around that they can just be you know mingle around with or one night stands and i i don't mean to say that this is you know somebody that's very frivolous you know that they have very polluted sexual energy i just mean to say that they just tend to dip in there too and they pull it out um they prefer to have um non intimate relationships or intimate relationships because they're scared of that depth with the scorpio this this might as well be a scorpio this could also be a past person that's coming around um who thought that you know you could be the one so there's ambiguity over here but i relatively do see that this is the energy of somebody who um you would just be stuck in their head if they don't get you they're going to try to get you but once you know once twice you you tell them no they're going to go away but they're always going to remember you as the one that got away they they're always going to be mesmerized by you and i feel like this is um this is a soulmate this is a past life connection that you have 
this could have been a life partner in your previous lifetimes as well but there's different roles that we play in different lifetimes right that's where there's a karmic connotation to every relationship in your life and i feel like this person or you especially could have friends or you know peer pressure in your ear being like you know this person is not worthy but i feel like a part of you if your heart tells you that you know this person can change or something like that there's it's like you have to believe and i'm saying this because um the chance of having a relationship always has a chance or a probability of a heartbreak that's the fact so i feel like you also might feel like this person makes you really happy but it's just a um a thing whether they want to really take the step and make this committed because this person might have feelings of insecurity when it comes to relationships because of the toxicity stop because of the toxicity that they faced in their past so i feel like they've uh, they've particularly met i feel like a majority of you that are going to pick this pile are going to be females and this person has met with a lot of toxic females people that um use sex perhaps uh, as a way of manipulation or use um crying and you know just uh, weapons to manipulate and keep the person in their control when they're not acting right and it's just something that this person still has to cleanse because we have the frog energy which is a lot about decluttering yourself all right so i think that this person um would be in their head and a heart decision like am i going to do this work and i want to tell you that this is not at all based on your self worth it's just based on the way they perceive themselves because this is going to bring out a lot of insecurities within them with the four of cups as to you know what do i really deserve because they're going to start comparing you and i don't mean to say this in a bad way but they're going to start comparing you as somebody who is the queen of cups upright and they're going to start comparing you to the people that they've been with in the past things that you have they, they have not buried the hatchet with um and they have not healed from so you're going to provoke them to clean cleanse themselves to filter their energy and stop being you know somebody who doesn't give themselves what they deserve because with the amount of water that we have and then them feeling like they're still looking for the one it's almost like a hopeless romantic trying to convince themselves in this millennial hookup culture that that's what they've got to be right it's somebody who just has been in a survival mode and when you come you may get impact like you you can't push yourself out of the survival mode right i just feel like this person might be quite attractive quite be charming quite you know polish or perhaps um good in their career and social skills and yada 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 but when it comes to emotional connectivity it just comes down to what do you think you deserve and that's why they don't take that step forward because they haven't felt deserving of being in a loving genuine connection is what i really see over here all right so we're going to get a few channel messages from this person before we conclude your reading file number 5 angel guides spirit please have me connect with this person i respect you i honor our dynamic you are so important to me so that's what i was saying uh, with the horn cactus and the death i just feel like this person would not want to throw around the word of commitment and just play with your feelings because um they're just not that type of a person okay i'm just going to say that they have at least that much of sense that they're not going to want to play with you um whatever they're going to do is just going to be solely because of that level of maturity that they have when dealing with you that's going to come out in a way where they're going to try to keep you around as much as they can but they're not going to do it in a very intentional manipulative manner that they're going to promise you a commitment and not live up to it just because they want to keep you around okay they do respect you and they have that kind of humility within them that they're not going to just you know hurt you purposely when they know it's wrong okay I'm sorry for the way I treated you in the past you didn't deserve it. I feel like this person could be someone from the past or they're going to feel sorry and embarrassed about their actions because they're going to know that this is something worth investing in. They're going to see you for who you are and they're going to regret that behavior. They're going to regret playing games with you. Um I just feel like there is going to be a few um on and off interactions whether you know you go around you date other people but there is some sort of karma with this person okay i'm trying to be the one you deserve will you be a little bit more patient with me with the queen of cups in reverse this person i am i am definitely seeing the scope that this is not a gone case okay 
Uh, let's just be real. Um, this is somebody who would want to work. And I, I did say that before. So thank you, Spirit. You know, they confirmed this. That I said before that they would want to work on themselves regardless. You are the one that they settle down with or not. They're going to want to work on themselves. So you're just going to be that push. It scares me that you can see right through me. I need to come correct in your direction. I feel like this person is going to know that, you know, they can't play with you. You're not one of those people that are going to just stick around to see how much, you know, you're going to allow them to walk over you. So I feel like this person is going to, you're going to, I feel like you're going to walk away from this person or draw a very set boundary that you're not going to allow these things and that's what this person is going to see as i can't take advantage over here right and that's the way it should be um it's not that the person is bad it just means that they need to see that they have toxic traits as well they're not i feel like this person might have a, a superiority complex and that usually stems from having an inflated ego which is all this toxicity that they've endured in the past. You are so different. I'm very curious about you. Again, they would intuitively know with the rainbow moonstone, they would intuitively know that there's something special and you're resourceful. I've said that like 10 times. This person is going to see the spark within you because it's within them. And that's just how the quote goes. The beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. I just didn't think I could handle the intensity, so I ran away. I feel like, again, you know, this person could self-sabotage, um, take their time or try to brush off these feelings because they would feel an intense connection. And again, I want to remind you that it's a part of destiny, whether you guys end up together and there's also part of free will, whether you both choose each other or not, right? There's always free will in that way. So I feel like they could have, you know, um, just not realize that these feelings were not gonna go away that easily and so they ran away because they couldn't deal with what they wanted and what they already were and they didn't want to shut down a part of themselves that they knew they had to to level up in life basically i don't understand how but i recognize you from before i can feel it in my bones Thank you, Spirit. So they know that you're a soulmate. You have this uncanny chemistry, something that they don't find with other people. Even this person is going to try to sleep around or do something. Um, sorry, if that's triggering, that, that is going to be a thing. This person is sort of going to go out there, see what they don't want so that it narrows down to what they want in life. And that's how you're going to be a catalyst to their growth, basically. I like that you're bougie. You take no harm. You take no shit, do no harm. So they do see that you know you're not gonna be playing around and feeding into their toxic behaviors. Like you're just gonna be like, bye. Like I'm hearing, boy, bye. I just don't have the time for these nonsensical games. I really see myself settling down with you. So thank you, spirit. So they would, you know, there's just this energy like I really want to be with you, um, but I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too until and unless you told me that enough is is enough. So that's what I'm seeing. Like there. Uh, they're gonna come in with a little bit of maturity until you set them right and it's it's just this behavior that this person uh, doesn't really respect anyone that doesn't respect themselves and that's just the way that life works and everybody around us right so they would start actually respecting you and your boundaries more affirmatively and discerning of it when you actually make it clear that i am not taking this and i want to make you mine forever so they want to cleanse themselves they would want to make themselves better so that they can be with you is what i'm hearing we dropped a card I love you like I've never loved anyone else. So they're going to feel these feelings. Again, there's so much like love at first sight. Like, you know, I wish that we could be together. I wish I was a different person. Like they're going to try to convince themselves, you know, right person, wrong time. And I'm very unsure about how to make this better. And I'm overcoming mental rigidity through spiritual maturity. I'm stepping away from the matrix. So thank you, spirit. So this is what they're saying that, you know, this person is going to understand how to um, leave this version of themselves behind um, through the, the, the journey that you both are going to share. And a sort of like this repel and chase kind of a thing that's going to happen a little bit. It's going to happen within you as well is what I'm seeing. Pile number five. So I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. 
Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye.